How to add a health and damage system to your character in Unreal Engine 5. We'll start by making a simple blueprint actor which will allow us to test applying damage to our character. In the content browser, right click, go to blueprint and then select actor. Call this BP underscore damager. Open it then click add and search for a collision box. With the collision box selected, go to the details panel and search for hidden. Set hidden in game to false. This is so we can see this actor in the game level. Right click on the box collision, go to add event and then add on component begin overlap. Drag off the other actor and search for apply damage. Then set the damage you want to apply to the character. I'm going to set this as 25. Compile and save then go back to the viewport. Open up the content browser, then drag this actor into the level. Next you want to locate your character blueprint. Open it, then we want to add two new variables. Call the first one current health, and then set it to float. Call the next one max health, and then make sure it's also a float. Compile, then set both of their default values to whatever you want the player's max health to be. In this case, I'm using 100. Then in some space, right click and search for an event any damage. This will be triggered when the player overlaps the damager actor. Next, we want to subtract the damage to the player from its current health. To do this, drag in the current health variable and get it. Drag off and add a subtract node. Then attach this to the damage pin. Then drag in the current health variable again and set it. Attach it to the subtract and damage event. When the player overlaps the damager actor, the 25 health points will be removed from its current health and then the new current health will be set. To test this, right click and add a print string. Then plug the current health into it. Compile and save then go back to the viewport and press play. If you run into the damager actor, you can see that 25 health is being removed each time. However, you can see that the player's health can go below zero into the minus numbers, which we don't want. Next, we're going to fix this and add some death functionality. Go back to the player, then drag off the minus and add a clamp. Set the max value to 100. Then connect it to the set current health. This will stop the player's health from going above the max health or below zero. Next we're going to create some death functionality. Off the set current health, drag off and get an equals. Leave this at zero. Then drag off and add a branch. If this is true and the player's current health is equal to zero, they have died. To test this, drag off and add a print string. And we'll just type dead. Compile and save, then go back to the viewport and press play. Now when your health reaches zero, the death print is triggered. At the moment the death can be triggered multiple times, which we don't want. So next we're going to stop that from happening and also add a death animation. First go back to the player character and delete the print string. Then add a new variable and call it isDead. Set this to be a boolean. Drag it in and set it to be true. Then connect it to the true pin. Then to play a death animation, first drag in the character mesh. Then drag off it and search for play animation. Then go to the drop down and select the animation you want to use. Next we want to stop the player from being able to move once they're dead. Drag off and add a disable input node. Then in some space, right click and get the player controller. Connect this to the disable input. Next we want to stop the player from taking damage once they're dead. Drag in the isDead variable then get it. Drag off and add a branch. Then connect it up using the false pin. Compile and save then go back to the viewport and press play. Now when the player's health reaches zero, the death animation will play and they won't be able to move. 
Next we're going to work on adding a health bar to display the player's current health. To do this we're going to use an event dispatcher. This will effectively broadcast our player's health to the widget we're going to make for the health bar. Click the plus icon to add an event dispatcher, then call this E underscore health updated. Next we're going to add some inputs to pass through our current health and max health. Call the first one current health and set it to float. Then call the second one max health and make sure it's also afloat. Next delete the print string then drag in the event dispatcher. We want to call it which means we are broadcasting out to other blueprints. Connect it up then connect the current health variable to the current health pin. Then drag in the max health variable and connect this up as well. Next we're going to create the health bar which will receive this information and display it in the HUD. In the content browser, right click, go to user interface and then add a widget blueprint. Select user widget, then call this wbp underscore HUD. Open it, then go to the search bar and add a canvas panel. And go back to the search and add a progress bar. This will be used to display the player's health. I'm going to set this health bar to be in the top middle of the screen. So go to anchors and select the top middle. Then you can adjust these values until it's in a good position. You can set the percentage of the health bar using this slider to see what it looks like. You can also change which way the slider moves, for example right to left or top to bottom. However I'm going to keep it as left to right. Also we want to set the percentage to 1. Also you can change the colour of the health bar under appearance, so we're going to set this to red. Next we're going to add health to the end of its name and make sure it is set to a variable. Next go to the graph and delete these events. We're going to add a custom event so we can initialise our health bar from the player character. Call this initialise. We want to pass through our player character, so add an input and call it player character. Set the type to your player character blueprint and make sure it's an object reference. Next we're going to make the health bar show on the screen, so compile and save and go back to the player character. In your player character look for the event begin play, or if you don't have one right click and add it. Drag off and add a create widget. Go to the drop down and select the HUD we just made. Then drag off the return value and add an add to viewport node. Drag off the return value again and search for the initialize event we made. Connect it up and add some reroute nodes to keep it tidy. Then drag off the player character and get a reference to self. Compile and save, then go back to the viewport and press play. You'll now be able to see the health bar showing on the screen. Next we're going to make it so the player's health is received by the health bar and displays on the screen. To do this go back to the widget, then drag off the player character pin and add a bind event to e health updated. This will receive the player's health information every time they are damaged. Drag off the event and add a custom event. Call this set progress bar. Drag off the current health and search for a divide. Plug the max health into the divide. This will give us a decimal value between 0 and 1 for our player's health. Next drag in the progress bar. Drag off it and add a set percent. Connect this to the event, then connect the divide to the in percent. Compile and save, then go back to the viewport and press play. Now our health bar will update every time the player is damaged, showing their current health. There are a couple more things we need to do, but first we're going to quickly add a number next to the health bar to display the player's current health points. Go back to the HUD widget and go to the designer. Then add a text element. Position this next to the health bar, then set the anchor point to the top middle. Set the text to something like this so we can see what it will look like. 
replace the end of the name with health and set is variable to true. Go to the graph, then drag in the health text. Drag off and add a set text. Connect it up, then drag off the in text pin. We want to add a format text node so that we can combine the current health and max health into one text element. In the format box, copy exactly what I'm typing. This will create two pins which we can connect to the current and max health. Compile and save. Finally, it's important at the start of the game to update the health bar so that the initial values are set. Go back to the player character and find the end of your event begin play. Drag in the event dispatcher and call it. Connect it up, then drag in the current and max health variables and connect them to it. Compile and save, then go back to the viewport and press play. You will now have a working health and damage system with a health bar. If this video helped you, please feel free to like and subscribe or support me on Patreon so that I can keep making these Unreal Engine tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.